I'd like to talk to you about Alzheimer's disease, the symptoms, the stages, the treatments, and what we can do to help people who are living with it. Alzheimer's disease refers to a brain disorder that has been around four centuries, but there's been a great deal of research in recent times because of the millions of people currently affected by it. Alzheimer's refers to a loss of brain functions, most notably short-term memory, as well as long-term memory later on. It's progressive in nature, so it does get worse. It also affects language skills, the ability to think and reason, also the ability to care for oneself. So people slowly get worse over time, usually over a period of many years. It presents great challenges to them, as well as their families, who are the main providers of care. At this time, we really don't know the causes of Alzheimer's disease, and therefore it's difficult, difficult to come up with effective treatments. Right now we have four FDA-approved drugs, which only work in about half the cases. These drugs offer symptomatic relief to, again, just about half the people who try them. So we really have to focus our efforts on maintaining a good quality of life through human skill and ingenuity, patience, and compassion. Alzheimer's disease is uh, a real challenge for those living with it. Because of their impairments in memory, thinking, and language, they're oftentimes feeling outcast, feeling alone, uh, not knowing how they can conduct their lives with dignity. And so at Rainbow Hospice and Palliative Care, we're really trying to help them as well as their families who are the main providers of care to maintain a good quality of life. We do that by teaching caregivers, our staff, our volunteers, as well as families to uh, learn how to be patient, to be understanding, to compensate for memory and language skills, and to engage them in meaningful activities so that they can continue to have a, a healthy life, a happy life, in spite of their deficits.